open banking and APIs is something we need to embrace rather than be defensive of because it is within the open banking and the open APIs we're going to move forward and actually maintain our significant role as a financial service provider to our customers. I think it's affected us for a very long time because we work in the Nordic Baltic region and we, our population is highly digital. So, I mean, we were very early with the first bank with an online banking environment. We were among the first with a mobile bank. So that has really been uh, sort of in the forefront of our minds. The transformation taking place now is that we're shifting our digital channels into a digital relationship. I think it's highly important for us to maintain the things that we have uh, strived on in the physical world, because they're not gone in the digital world, they're equally as important. And that's something that may sometimes get lost. You have to read the game, not only play the game. There's a lot of disruption. Technique is developing as we speak and it's going more and more rapid. So the challenges are much more. And actually going into the digital, we will have so much more deviation for customer behavior, customer needs, and the expectation of having my personalized bank is going to be the challenge. If we can maintain the trust, the kind of neutrality in the greater world of the digital environment that is really challenging for the private person, or also for the SMEs, which is very close to my heart or our heart, I think that's where we can make a difference. It's now that we will have to make the decisions on what direction we will go. We will be their partner, their relationship and their support. <laughs>